Yeah, the the site would be on 24 hours a day. The only time it would come down is if there was a, a, a maintenance window, which usually is 2 to 3 a.m. in the morning and would happen maybe once a month. Um, but yeah, this is designed to run continuously. Um, the site it operates the same as every other cell site in so far as your phone call goes through it, um, through the Verizon network. So, not at that location, just whatever the signal sends? Yeah, there's just radios to transmit signal, batteries, and uh, some rec power rectifiers. Uh, no, and I don't, I'm not even sure if there'll be a security camera on it. Usually the sites are pretty secure. Okay, I wasn't sure if you could talk about the uh, coverage maps, which are very, very well done. Uh, and I look at the location on the way home every day. Uh, and it appears that the location is up on the top of the hill about a mile and a half further to the east would have uh, greatly improved the uh, uh, capabilities in the St. John area for reception. Uh, because I personally periodically have problems with the uh, St. John connection. Uh, so I'm a little curious what the uh, traffic person is over, over the hill at that point. The the re well, first of all, there is a site um, at the high school in St. John's which will be integrated uh, probably any day now. So that should help in St. John's and to the area uh, just west of St. John's. Um, going up further to the east would have caused the same general issue that uh, the current site to the south has. It would shoot over this dip in the uh, in the highway as 180 goes down into the Little Colorado River Valley. Um, the the topography of the area is problematic, and signal cannot get down in there. So the site where it's being proposed will allow for coverage to fill in that gap, while also allowing for some coverage at the 180A 180 interchange for the homes there and also minimizing the impact visually as there are no houses within about two and a half miles of here. Um, so yeah, going, going a mile and a half to the east up on the hill, actually the Browns had also suggested that the owners of the land, um, but getting up there gets us to shoot over the coverage area and is essentially causes redundant coverage for an existing site we already have out there. Okay, good enough. Now that we ask all the questions we want, we'll go ahead and call for the question. All in favor to approve, say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. To approve and one abstain. That's final vote. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Okay, let's move on to, uh, I believe it's F. Oh, we already proved that, so uh, we're good to go. Uh, item four, engineering, Mr. Uh, Crosby. Good morning, supervisors. Uh, good morning. Item four is a discussion of possible approval or purchase of new 2013-140M2 motor grader uh, through Empire Machinery. The district. This is for District Two, which will they will have a trade-in of a 148 motor grader. We're using the National Intergovernmental Purchasing Alliance contract that is being utilized by the City of Tucson. The purchase amount is three hundred three thousand five fifty two, and the trade-in of fifty one thousand for a total of two fifty two five fifty two. Uh, funding will come out of District Two carryover and District Two growth funds. I recommend approval. Hey, gentlemen. No we approve. <laughs> Motion to approve. Thank you for the expansion on that information, Mr. Crowley. I have a second for the issue. Okay, comments? Questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Three in favor, none opposed. Thank you, gentlemen. Let's move on to item five, engineering. Supervisors, item five is a discussion of possible approval to enter into a utilities 
right of way easement agreement with the Navajo Tribal Utility Authority. Uh, this is to place new power pole and equipment at the Sanders Interchange that are located north of the I-20 <coughs> interstate, the, the new interchange that they're building. Uh, a little background on this, uh, the, there are three separate power sources that supply the lighting and the and, uh, street lighting for the, the new interchange project. This is the north uh, section. Uh, in order to get power into the to the project, they are having to come and place power pole on county right away just north of the interstate. Uh, we've written and given them the right of, right of entry. However, NTUA requires that we enter into an agreement with them, which the board has to uh, approve. I've communicated with Joe Young with the county attorney's office. Uh, we are all on the same page now as far as the uh, the term of the agreement, originally the term was for a permanent uh, access agreement. Uh, the term was comfortable with a permanent nature, but NTA has agreed to do a 20-year uh, agreement. So the, uh, the size of the uh, access is approximately 30 feet by 26 feet, right at the uh, southeast corner of our right way up against the interstate. So we recommend approval. Okay, <clears throat> gentlemen, move to approve. Motion to approve by Mr. Hurley. Is there a second? Questions, comments? Uh, Mr. Chairman, just, just briefly for the record. Okay, Mr. Whiten. Um, I, I reviewed this as well. We discussed it quite a bit. We didn't want a perpetual easement that continues forever. At some point, I may not want that anymore. If the board wants to increase the number of years the easement exists, that would be fine. 550, whatever it is, <laughs> um, something that's been common or we tried to put forward here at 25 or 50. Mm -hmm. so, if the board wants to amend that, I just want to be aware of where the number of years will be. hear the um, comment from the or county attorney? Okay, well, we'll just try to take a vote then. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Three in favor and opposed. Thank you. Number six, Sheriff's Office. Yes, Martin. Morning, Supervisor. Uh, item 6, discussion and possible acceptance of a change in the capital outlay for the Governor's Office of Highway Safety Grant number 2014 PT087. Due to receiving a lower price on the vehicles listed on the previous grant, the Sheriff's Office will be able to utilize the remaining funds to purchase more equipment. The total grant amount, grant funding amount will remain the same. This is simply a capital, capital outlay change. The cost to the, to the county for the additional vehicle and equipment will be $7,122, which will be paid out of uh, 14 funds from our report. Okay. Joe? Will we approve? Okay, there's a motion to approve and a second your comment, Mr. Weller. Okay, good enough. Thank you, Mr. Weller. Um, <clears throat> we call for a question now. All in favor to approve, say aye. 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 Opposed? Mm -hmm. The ayes have it. Three in favor, none opposed. Thank you. Thank you. Item 7, Melina. Good morning. 